So last night I was cutting my hair, trying to cut my hair, and my shaver broke. I was trying to, I don't know what I was doing, but the damn thing died on me. It died literally in my hair and like caught my hair. You can see the picture to the right. And this here, yeah. My hat, yeah. Half bald, full hair. Half full. Not, not a good thing. So, my cousin John brought in his clippers and he's gonna cut my hair when I get down to the shop. Busy day today, foundation work, and then we have to go to my friend's um, promotion. Bernie Jenkins got promoted. He's been waiting a long time for that, so that's a good thing. That's awesome. I'm glad he really got it. And so we're going to go to his uh, ceremony, and we're going to go to a uh, little after parties, which we'll go to, and you'll be included. So this is going to be a good day, I think. It hasn't even started yet. So last night I was uh, working with LUTs. LUTs are a program within a program of my post-production studio. And LUTs add color. They can do... I was messing around. Very cool stuff. Um, that's how they do the cinematic, you know when you're seeing the movies from Warcraft to James Bond, you know, they have LUTs. They have light profiles that they pre-build and they can use over a variety of scenes. So I've been doing LUTs like this or like this or I like this one. And then if you want to get like down and dirty, you can do like 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 war movies like this <gasps> so it's pretty cool what you can do with LUTs at like a flip of a button it's like you don't have to go through all the hue saturation and luminance levels it's all pre-done for you um, so I've been working on getting some made specifically for um, LUTs for my drone LUTs for my GoPro, LUTs for my phone, because each one of these cameras film differently. So, they all have their own built-in color grading. So with color grading, you're, you're not really color correcting, you're correcting the contrast, exposure, brightness, shadows, highlights, it goes on. There's so much that goes into it. And it's not as simple as drag and drop and just start recording or start rendering. Um, if I try to go for a very professional video, I will have better sound soon enough. I'm waiting on one more piece for the GoPro and adapter. Once I have that, I'll have superior sound. Um, I got a really nice uh, Rode Video Micro, so it's really going to set it off here now at uh, Colmar. Got to get some tar for the foundation. Get some tar. I'm going to tar and feather Scott because he left the goddamn trailer door open. Morning. Morning. What's going on? Not too much. <sighs> We're going for some. How much is that? That's not bad. 39 bucks. Going for this one right here. Nasty stuff. Every minute seems to crawl, and I'm wondering why. Because you caught me by surprise when you came in through that door. Only singing to your buy, and I'm begging for more. What's a guy gotta do? Make it be mine. with 
a local Vetner person that hates drones, obviously, because I was so wrong into the filming aerial footage of what was happening the other night. You couldn't really see anything. I mean, it was like an overview of 10 blocks. So for her to freak out over that is ridiculous, but she's entitled to her opinions and she can cry, but I'm registered. And so I'll fly and film where I need to and where I want to. So Ventnor does have ordinances that prohibit over parks and public spaces, um, but an exception during events. I, I do try to abide for them, but you know, those are the spaces you want to be flying over are open spaces, which I don't. I think that was an overthought. I think it was a rushed ordinance. Um, I think it was just to quiet the few instead of. Uh, working with the actual pilots, the drone pilots, people that actually do work in the city. You know, realtors hire drone pilots. Ventnor is the only town on the island that has really put restrictions on where you can and can't fly. There are creepers out there, which there shouldn't be. They're fucking, they're jerks, they're assholes. Sorry, I get frustrated when people are posting pictures of somebody's house and they shouldn't be. Um, what I do, I like staying about 150 feet up, 100 feet up, 150 feet because you can't really hear the drone and it's not annoying or um, disturbing to the neighbors. So people got to calm down. They got to stop freaking out over drones. They're, it can be a good thing. It can be a good tool. State and county officials are already looking into having drone pilots assist over crime scenes. You know, drones can be useful. So much more needs the eye. They see it dripping out through my dump body, yet they still stay up my ass. I mean, I have stone like bouncing off the truck, just like the residual. Doing the foundation, nice fresh rubber coat. Now rocks all the way down there. Nice drainage. Yeah, right where, yep. Cool. Get John. How are you? Good, bud. What's going on? Not much. How are you? Good. Hey. How are you? Are you? I'm good. Mm. Is this your lovely wife? Or yes. You? I, never, I never met her. Oh. oh. Well, now we have. Yeah. 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 Y
outside and around. So I'm going to take a nice Are you nervous? nervous? No. Are you excited? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. We, I think this came quicker. This came quicker than we thought, didn't it? That's cool. Sergeant. Go <laughs> According to the best of my skill. What's up, bro? What's going on? Yeah, what's up? Good to see you, man. Good. Good. Come on, princess. Thank you. Wow, look at that little camera. Yeah, man. Oh, Trooper. Where's dad? Give me the cake, Greg. Oh, hey Frank. Yeah. Hey. Food. Where? <laughs> Hurry up, take a picture of the cardboard. <laughs> hey Mikey. Say hi, Bernie. Because I'm so much more than meets the eye. Not like those other guys. Everybody says the same. Where's your boyfriend? What? <laughs> what? <laughs>